Uh, so today I decided to share something I'm working on. Uh, this is actually going to be a personal machine for myself for uh, graphic design and such. It's a coveted W530 ThinkPad that I'm going to core boot and I'm also going to neuter Intel Management Engine on this one and I'm also going to be doing a keyboard change so this is the Stock Island keyboard that comes with the W530 it also has a 1080p uh, screen so it's a very nice screen for the graphic design stuff I wanted to work on in the future and uh, I have some other models close by uh, I actually do offer those on the blog, so if you're looking for a core boot machine with Intel Management Engine neutered for Tails or Hunix or Cubes or something like that, you can always reach out. I don't do the keyboard mods unless somebody asks about it just because it costs me a lot extra and it's also a lot of extra work. I have to use some tools to shape it to fit properly. I also have to install the right EC firmware to get it compatible and um, I also do some changes to the BIOS and whatnot. But uh, what I'm working on and what I really wanted to share is just this beautiful W530 I got my hands on at Goodwill, actually. These are hard to find, and if you do find them, they're generally very expensive because it actually has up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is quite nice. So it has multiple RAM slots on each side, and um, it also has a quad core Intel processor, which as mentioned, I'm going to neuter Intel management engine on. It's a pretty extensive process to do this, what I'm working on, but um, I might do some more videos and talk about the progress and show the finished uh, computer. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys today. It's uh, really excited about this model. I just have been wanting one for so long and I finally got my hands on it and uh, I also sometimes talk to schools and they tend to have sometimes more lightly used computers. As I mentioned in the past you want to avoid buying from gamers because they tend to run the hardware into the ground and if you can find it from a school or Goodwill well then you'll be in luck. But uh, as mentioned, if you have interest and you want to support the channel, you can also get one of these in the U.S. at least. I haven't dealt with international just because of the problems that come with that and the damage, all the risks that are going with international. But I do have a list on the blog of other suppliers that I would consider using and that I don't have no affiliation with, but I just wanted to share a list with you guys of different core boot suppliers. So if you're not in the U.S. Um, and you're interested internationally, you can check out things like Mini Free, which is actually the developer for Libre Boot, and it helps support her development there. But as mentioned, if you're in the U.S. and you're interested in a core boot, Machine with Intel Management Engine neutered. You can check it out at the commission section of the blog. And uh, you can follow the blog for free. And 99.9% .9 of posts and tutorials are all completely public there. You don't have to register or anything. Uh, I just want to get the information out. So help share the videos. Help share the tutorials. You know, the, my big motivation in doing this is to spread this information because so many other other channels I found are lacking in some of the information on privacy anonymity. Now there are some other good channels out there, I'm not knocking any of them, but um, I did feel like there was a bit of a gap in some channels that I wanted to create this channel. So I may do more videos on my progress on my new machine and uh, look forward to sharing new completely original tutorials you won't find anywhere so make sure to follow and I will see you guys soon